Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we've got another drum mixing tip courtesy of Daryl Thorpe and this one has to do with parallel compression on drums, sending the whole drum kit to another channel, compressing it, doing some other processing to it and mixing it back in with the dry drum source. Using three basic tools here, we've got the UAD distressor, you can use any model distressor you may have, we've got the UAD Neve 1084 and again any EQ will probably work for this and then a trim plugin. In this case, this is the PreSonus mix tool. So the first thing I want to do is just hear the drum part by itself, no parallel process. The actual individual drum channels are processed, but there's no parallel channel in right now. Here it is. And let's take a look at the first plugin we've got, the Distressor. What we want is basically stock settings here. It's stock six to one, input five, attack five, release five, output seven and a half, fully compressed because it's on its own channel. The only thing we're changing, or that Daryl Thorpe changes, that's not a stock setting, is gonna be this audio to distortion three, just to give it a little bit of crunchiness to it. Now you might have to play with the input a little bit to get the compression or gain reduction to the point you want if you got a really a hot source coming in or something that's really soft, I'm looking to have about 7 or 8 or 9 dB of gain reduction. So if the LEDs bumping into the yellow, we're in a good place for this parallel compression. This is not complete crushed parallel compression. This just kind of emphasizes the energy of the drum kit. So I'm going to bypass the other plugins here, bring up this parallel channel, and here is the parallel channel by itself. I'll bring the dry channel down. So definitely not crushed, but more exciting sounding than this. The next step we're going to do is just add an EQ really quick to this. And we've got the Neve 1084 from UAD. And all we're doing is the littlest push of that high shelf. And on this Neve, it's a 12K fixed shelf. And that just brightens up that parallel channel a little bit. So here's that parallel channel again with just the distressor for compression and the knee for EQ. Without the Neve. And with. Just a slight bit brighter. And of course, this is all getting really hot. It's getting a lot of level going out. So the trim plugin really just backs that off a little bit. And what Daryl Thorpe really wants here is that the send and return levels be the same. So you're not having it come back really hot. It's coming back about the same level you send it at. And you can mess with that mix tool until you get that level correct. Now what I'm going to do is bring the parallel channel down all the way and then ride it up as the mix plays so you can hear how we can blend it in subtly to get that energy and excitement in the drum part. Now I'll bypass it on and off as it plays with the solo mute button. So there it is, a really easy tip courtesy of Daryl Thorpe, an easy way using three simple plugins to get some energy and excitement using parallel processing on your drums with a distressor, with a Neve EQ, and a trim plugin to pull that level back a little bit. The nice thing about this parallel process is unlike many of them, it is not a totally crushed compression sound. And that's really nice because you can blend it in and not get that totally blown up drum sound out of it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next, and I'll see you in the next one.